One of the things that I did early in Jessica's diagnosis um, was I would sometimes bring my mother with me. Uh, often my husband would be with me too, but we were both sort of very, um, you know, unnerved by this diagnosis. We didn't always process things. We didn't always think how to ask questions. And, you know, my mother would just sometimes sit there and, you know, write down notes. And then that would really help um, the, um, you know, sort of, first of all, ground us. And then, you know, later when we would be talking about what had happened during the, uh, the meeting with the doctor, she, you know, she would help us recognize what had happened and she would help us remember what had been said. Sometimes taking a pad of paper with your questions on it can be very helpful. In sort of in the heat of the moment, you can forget what you meant to ask. So I've done that as well, where I've listed the questions that I need to ask. Um, and then again, getting to know the support personnel who are um, involved, the nurses, the radiology technicians, people like that can often answer your questions and they can often translate on a level that you know, a person who doesn't have a medical background can understand. So for many years, I kept a diary of you know, just a planner of what tests need to be done, when they need to be done, you know, where the reports went, and I had this you know, huge binder. Um, now that I have been Jessica's mother for, you know, a long, long time, um, this is this is more um, natural to me. I sort of know, okay, it's, it's July, it's time for an MRI. Uh, but in the beginning, I, I had to be really organized about that information and, and not just assuming the doctors would remember that she needed to have an ultrasound or she needed to have a blood draw but asking all the time. And at first it feels like you're, you're second guessing the doctor that you're saying, I don't trust you, but that's not the case at all. You are just trying to do the right thing for your child. And you recognize that you know, nobody cares about your child as much as you do, nobody does. So if you are going to um, advocate for your child, you know, just be organized, um, you know, make sure you ask the questions you need to ask. Keep all of that information in one place where you can always find it. Then when you're on the phone with, with a doctor or a nurse, that information is right there. When you go to um, an exam, you bring that notebook with you. It's there all the time. But mostly it's just feeling like you are empowered, that you need to do this. And, and you do, and so it's, it's giving yourself permission to do whatever you need to do to, um, to advocate for your child.